hey guys thank you for tuning in to meet your girl miss awesome lawson also known as mama mario and i am walking the dog i'm walking shine star did not want to go walking this morning she chilling but you guys um i want to do a video on starting your own small business from home 101 okay you guys so once again this is straight off the dome i have not written anything down and sometimes when i do this i'll be like dang i should have said this or i meant to say this or i think about stuff afterwards but that's okay so when starting your own business from home whatever it is first of all you want to write down um ways or people to market that product to who all would be who all do you think would be interested in this product how am i going to market it okay so um let me name a, a product like um i'll say something like uh lashes okay so if i'm starting a lash business from home i'm going to first write down how, I'm, how am I going to market? I'm going to use platforms of social media first and foremost. Um, who all do I know with a, a beauty salon? I'm going to write down the people I know first before I go to the people that I don't know. Um, also, lashes. What does that make me think of? Um, sometimes people, you know, with cancer, they lose their lashes. or uh, uh, You may want to write that down. How can you... Um, you know, get your lashes seen, you know, to, to those people. Um, what else? Um, vendor events, you know, um, hair shows. Um, you know, you want to write down things like that first, okay? Your, your friends and family who wear lashes all the time. Who don't wear lashes but need to, like myself. Um, you want to write down... I ain't going to say need to, but I don't have any lashes. You know what I mean? Um, so, you want to think about stuff like that. And then, after that, you want to um, see what, what's going to make yours any different from the next person. Because everybody sells lashes. What is going to make yours different? Are you going to put them on free? If they buy them from you, um, does it come with a glue? For is the glue included? Um, is the packet different? Um, what type are they? Are they some that are hard to get? Um, are they mink? Are they like what makes yours different? Okay, it could be something as simple as the, the um, what it comes in. It, it could be, um, you know, something that's, but what makes yours different? Um, that's another thing. Um, another thing that you want to consider when starting, okay, so once you've written all that stuff down, um, and you've ordered, so you have to go through the process of ordering, finding a supplier. So if you have not already, you want, this takes time. You don't want to just jump on the first supplier that you see. You want to compare prices. You want to see what makes theirs different from the next person's. Um, you want a long-term supplier. You want a communication to be, you know, um, um, you know, like consistent or uh, persistent. You want to um, find a good supplier. So that may take a period of time, but once you find it, it's, it's well worth it. And y'all, look, I just finished my hair. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying, y'all, my forehead might look a little shiny. And, yeah, it's big. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, supplier. So, okay. Now, the next thing, say you got a save versus you got all of your products. Packaging, you know, um, shipping from home. That, that, to me, was one of the harder things and which was a big delay when starting my business was shipping and packaging and all of that. So, if you're doing something like lashes, okay, that's not hard to, uh, okay, okay. So, basically, you can order a scale 
from Amazon. It doesn't have to be a scale from the post office because those are expensive. So you can order a, a scale that's going to, you know, if you're only selling lashes, you, you know, you don't need a scale that uh, weighs up to 300 pounds. You know what I mean? So you don't have to spend as much money on, on a scale. Or you don't even have to start out shipping from home. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And and the ladies up there at the post office, they know me. When I come in there, they're like, hey, Miss Lawson, you haven't come, like now that I ship from home, they're like, oh, you haven't even come to see us. You can still come to see us if I have to stop by there or whatever. So, you know, that's a good thing because you, you, you become familiar with the people inside the post office. Um, so you don't necessarily have to start off shipping from home because I didn't. That came later on. Um, so when if you're not, even if, if whether you're shipping from home or not, packaging, you can get packaging from the post office for free. Um, you get you get you don't even have to go up there. You can order it online and it's absolutely free. The size packaging that you want. Um, that's something that you wouldn't have to worry about. So even if you're wrapping it with tissue paper on the inside or what have you, or even if you're not wrapping it at all, you can get bubble um, envelopes for protection. But that's something that you're not spending money on. So you don't want to compare how somebody else started their business. If they start their business with, you know, a nice packaging or, you know, their logo on it, and I want to go to logos as well, you don't compare compare what you're doing to nobody else's that's the first and foremost thing that you need to not do do not worry about anyone else's business but your own okay you don't know if they were able to do those things they they probably was able to do it even me personally even if i am able to do it i'm frugal y'all i'm cheap so i like to see more of my money in my pocket you know what i'm saying so basically to me i would rather make the inside of the package look better than the outside of the package and i'm um, not saying that you have to do a lot to the inside but it could be something as simple as a sticker you know what i mean e even if you buy the manila um the orange looking envelope you can um put a sticker on the outside saying thank you you could put a small little note with regular paper thank you for your support that is as, as appreciated as the packaging and really the packaging it gets thrown in the trash i think um you know sometimes we put more effort in there in that thinking that we need that to start um and we don't that is offered free um now, um, once you weigh it up and figure out how much shipping is, if you want to, you know, just charge one set fee, you can. But if you're going to be buying your packaging, you want to include that into the shipping. So if you bought this packaging and you say, I bought 100 packages, divide that into whatever number, and then you want to add it into whatever the cost of shipping is, shipping can be expensive if you're starting out buying expensive packaging or just buying packaging, period. Um, logos. You do not need a logo to start your business. That is not necessary to start. That's something that can come later on. But at the same time, you don't necessarily have to pay anyone for a logo. There are free apps that you can create your own logo yourself. I created my own logo um, myself. Um, and actually, my Miss Awesome Lawson, I got somebody to design that. And guess what? I could have did that front myself. I did long, like some years ago. And it still wasn't no more than probably about $5. But guess what? If I knew what I knew then, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could do it. it, it, it yes, um, the other day ago, my daughter, I showed her how to make her own logo for her business. It took what? five or ten minutes and probably ten just because the the ads kept popping up okay so basically i show her how to make her own logo and it didn't take long at all boom you know five to ten minutes and that was from a free app and guess what i've already done i've already printed them on her labels for her so that she can go ahead and start labeling her packaging and guess what that was free you know what i'm saying what did i pay for labels you can get labels Labels are, are inexpensive. Also, you guys, um, so and, and, and you don't have to put too much effort into logos. You know, I, I know a lot of people want their logo to be fine. But who 
is why am I saying, dang, look at they loco. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? So don't spend too much energy on logos. And I'm not trying to knock people that that charge for that service. I'm not. But this these are things that I've done on my own. And my businesses have been very successful. I My first business I started in 2000 and, uh, I want to say five. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things I did myself. I made my own business cards. I made my own flyers. I have a cutter in my. I, I've do, I, I'm. I always have been interested in doing these type of things myself. So basically, when you learn how to do them yourself, guess what? You can charge if you want to, or or you can help someone just like I'm helping you guys. So um, don't spend too much energy on logos. Um, also, it was something else I wanted to touch bases on that I just thought about. Uh, when I said logos and labeling, oh, printing, you guys, printers are so cheap at this point. Printers, you can get, you want to get a, um, a printer that's operated by, uh, what do you call it? A printer that, a wireless, a wireless printer. You want to get a wireless printer. I think a printer is a good investment, um, and you can, I spent no more than about $30 for my printer, y'all, no more than $30, it comes with ink already when you first buy it, and it's wireless, it might have even been $25, so basically I can print from my phone, I can print away from home, but I've never done that before, you can send it to your printer when you're not even at home, um, you can print from, you know, all over the house, and um, the reason why I say that is a good thing to start out with, see, like, things that you're purchasing that is not necessary, you can spend that money in things that would be more beneficial to your business. So with the printer, um, once you get your printer, you can sign up through... Um, Is it Avery? I, I, I don't know. I have to get back with you guys with that information. But depending on how much you print, it keeps up with how much you're printing a month. So I got the first month or two, maybe even the first three months free. But like say, for instance, I only print out 100 copies a month or 200 copies a month. It, it, I think it's like I pay like $5 a month, you guys. I don't have to go to the store to buy any ink. Without, they send me a package. You hold on to the package. Once your ink is out, you put your ink cartridges in that package. You don't even send it out right then. You hold on to the package until it fills up. Once the next cartridge is, uh, um, you know, um, they send you more cartridges because they can keep up. They can keep up with the app shows them how much ink you have left. So if you only need, you know, black ink, it's on its way. If you need the color ink, it's on its way. And so then um, you you just when it's out, you stick it in the bag with the other one that's empty. When it fills up, you drop it out, drop it in your mailbox. Because guess what? The postage is already paid for. So you're only paying five dollars a month. If you are printing more than that, you may spend ten dollars a month. So you're you're never out of ink. You don't have to go to the store. You can print out your own flyers. You can print out your own logos. You can um, make your own business cards. You can set yourself up to not spend as much money on your business as other people do. And not only that, when you learn how to do these things, you can offer that service if you want to. So with setting yourself up to provide these things that you're learning how to do for your own business, to others so you're creating another business within the business that you're creating okay so that's another thing you guys so it's, it's good to stay focused on your own business once you fit fine once you get into that mode of doing that and you stay consistent and persistent you guys you you go in don't look at how good did this person uh that look or that look don't look at that you know what i'm saying and you're going to be so proud because you've done this yourself you did not have to call anybody 
You know what I'm saying? And yeah, business cards, you know what I'm saying? You may want to order some from Vistaprint. And you can order some for the low low. You know what I'm saying? That's not a problem. But you also, you know what I'm saying, would be able to um to make them if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Now I do order my uh cards from Vistaprint. I do. But at the same time, if I wanted to make them, I would be able to now I will make my own flyers. I will do that. Um I have started making my own labels and things like that. So, it creates another opportunity for you to be able to provide. And that's all I'm saying. Don't ever look at the next person and compare what you're doing to theirs. Because you don't know what all they had to do. If they're making a big enough profit. Like, you can see someone's business and you can think, it looks so great. They have this, they have that. But what profit are they seeing? Someone that doesn't have all that may be seeing more of a profit. So don't ever compare what you are doing to the next person. Stay focused. Stay persistent. Stay consistent. Stay positive. Do not communicate with people that they just try to give you they, they uh, give you negative advice. You want to be around people that's uplifting, or or, or and it's a difference between negative advice and keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? So there, that is a difference. You want to uh, uh, be around people that's um, um, telling you about other events or giving you great advice on your business or what will take your business to the next level. So. Um, Pictures, pictures is always good, you guys, to show people. You don't have to prove anything, you know what I'm saying? But just a picture says a thousand words, okay? So, y'all, um, that's it for now. If I um think of some more, I may have a part two to this video. But like I said, y'all, I go out the dome. I think it's um better when I do. <laughs> um, because y'all, it wouldn't even come out as good as it do if I had it written down. Ain't that kind of backwards? So so, anywho, you guys, thank you for tuning in to me, your girl, Miss Awesome Austin, also known as Mama Mario. Share this video. Don't be no hater, because that's another thing. You can't be no hater when you finna go into business. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be supportive to other people as well. You don't want to be that type of, oh, now you want everybody to support because you starting a business, but you were never supportive. Sometimes it's, it's kind of like that, but if it ends up being like that, it's time to turn over a new leaf. It's, it, you're walking into, uh, you're going down another path. So you want to become a better person because you are a business man. So anywho, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.